Well, the World Economic Forum on Africa wraps uh, today in Kigali, Rwanda. Africa's political and business leaders met for three days from Wednesday to discuss diversification and entering the digital economy to kickstart growth. The World Bank estimates that improvements in infrastructure on the continent would increase economic growth. Africa is a major supply of raw materials for more developed economies, including China, which has tapped its, resor its resources to power its economy. Sub-Saharan Africa has been hit by slower growth, partly caused by plummeting commodity prices. Growth is predicted to fall to around 3% in 2016, the lowest in nearly two decades. Among the most affected countries are oil-producing giants such as Angola and Nigeria, the mineral-rich Democratic Republic of Congo and Zambia. Now for more on the World Economic Forum on Africa, reporter Clement Uwirinkiamana joins me live by phone from Kigali. Clement, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you very much. Now give us a sense of uh, what the leaders really uh, concluded this uh, uh, summit with. What, what, what were some of the resolutions they made? Some of the resolutions they made are like elite smoking, seeing Africa's growth, benefiting people, uh, the grassless people, the Africans, really Africans, not just these international companies that are investing in Africa. Uh, they also talked about how NEPAD, the Grow Africa Initiative, has now managed to get to date $2.3 billion of applied private sector finance. And they say that with this amount of money, they are able, they think they will be able to benefit 10, 10 million smallholder farmers and creating uh, more than 80,000 jobs. Uh, this is one of the things uh, they put emphasis on because they are saying African youth are unemployed. And uh, some of the participants even say that Africa's uh, growing population might be a doom if nothing is done. Now, you know, some have said over the years that the problem on the continent is that uh, while everybody knows what needs to be done, many countries are not doing it, especially because of corruption and also just uh, a lack of uh, good governance. Was those, were those issues brought up in the summit? Of course. They were brought up like Grassa Michelle, a Mozambique chemical physician, and the instrumentarian was one of the people who voiced such concerns. Uh, like Grassa Michelle was like, uh, we need action, not commitment and decision makers, decision making without implementation. Uh, she was like very angrily saying that Africa has been deciding putting uh, implementation uh, commitment there, but without implementation. And the same uh, assessment uh, were made by like Winnie Bianima, uh, this is the executive director of Oxfam International, who was saying like, let's see, see like, like from between 2003 and 2009. Uh, the Nigerian oil uh, has benefited only 10% of the population, and other people in Nigeria are poor. So they, they, all, all people in the forum were like, you government should uh, really uh, work out your, your commitment and the, uh, your, your decision. Well, that uh, sounds like something that uh, makes a lot of sense. Thanks a lot, Clement, uh, for joining us today. Clement, we're in Giamana. A report a reporting live from Kigali by phone.